Hello guys, this is Pele. Pele. And today I will tell you the story of Pele and Shada. So stay tuned. The video you are about to watch is about Shada, this cat. She's a beautiful, beautiful stray cat, but she looks like a very expensive, I don't know, Russian blue or something like that. And she is the best cat ever. Right? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Sometimes she comes home and she's missing some fur because she got in a fight with the neighbor's cat. She's very tough. But now she spends most of her days just sleeping in my bedroom or sitting in a chair watching us work. She's really calm, really polite. She never goes up furniture, she never goes up the counter. She just stay around. It's the best kitten ever. Oh. Okay, just stay around. So everything, we are now in my backyard here in Poland, in Wrocław, where I live. And I, I am Brazilian, my name is Ana Rechik. And Okay, so uh, when I moved here with my husband, we didn't have any cats. But I always had cats in my life. I'm a full cat lady, no shame at all. I'm very proud about being a cat lady. And when we moved here to this house, there was a lot of stray cats coming every day to my backyard and asking for food and just being around. One of, uh, there, was, there were more than 10 stray cats coming here uh, almost every day. And one day, one cat, one grey cat, started to come every day and she uh, let us pet her. My, my husband really liked her and he was always petting her and she was super uh, nice but very scared. So she would just run away, just be pet, eat a little and run away. And one day uh, she just went up those steps there and entered the house and she chose a chair in the living room very simple hard chair and she sat on that and she decided like okay i will be here now guys just do your thing i will be here and we were super happy that the cat entered our house and she sat with us because that's how we are we love cats but as the day went by she didn't leave she just stayed there and we didn't fed her, we didn't have any cat food or anything and the night came and she just stayed there sitting in the same spot and she was very obviously pregnant she was huge at the time and I didn't want to just throw her away because I was afraid that anytime she will have a baby her baby's there we just decided to leave the door open so the cat can go home during the night and next morning she was still there and she just came to the backyard and pee a little and she went back inside she didn't look sick or anything she was clearly old she had like um, she looked like she fed a lot of kittens in her life she had like saggy uh, teats <laughs> sorry for my english i don't really know how to say that and so uh, she stayed for the second day and I decided to just buy some cat food because I was, I was getting uh, uh, worried about her. She was asking for food like if I was her owner and so I bought some food and she was really pleased eating her food and peeing outside. And that went on for like three days and my husband started to tell me I guess this cat belongs to the neighbor. She looks like a, a expensive race cat. She probably, someone is breeding her to sell the puppies and we are stealing her. 
probably the police will ring in our door anytime soon we will be arrested for uh, stealing a cat you, must, you we need to do something about this because she looks so expensive and so I came to my neighbor and it is an elderly couple that uh, used to live by our side and they didn't speak a word in English and I <laughs> so used my all my broken Polish to talk to her before that I just used Google Translator to, to translate phrases like is this your cat? Uh, she's living with us uh, can I bring her back to you? and so I just wrote that <laughs> at my phone and I called the neighbor very kind uh, lady maybe I read in her 80s 80 something and uh, when I came to the fence to talk to her the cat came with me and she sat by my side it was very awkward and I asked her like look is this your cat she's in my house for three days now sorry and she was like oh my god I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, um, that the cat is bothering you and I said no it's not bothering me I love the cat I want the cat <laughs> uh, look at my cat t-shirt <laughs> and I said I just don't want to steal your cat all of this in broken Polish and she said no it's not like she's my cat I have been feeding her for the last 10 years but she doesn't even have a name and uh, if she likes your house if she prefers your food she can be there it's not my cat I just I don't know take care of stray cats and uh, that was not entirely true I, I learned later but okay, she just blessed the cat living with us, like, ah, she talked to her like, yeah, now you pretend you don't know me, you ate my food for 10 years, and, but she was laughing and she was super light-hearted uh, about it. So I just came back inside the house and the cat <laughs> came with me and uh, a couple days later she uh, started to uh, start the labor. So she was living with her with us less than a week when she uh, started labor and uh, it was really scary I had many cats in my life I helped, I helped many stray cats uh, in labor I saw many labors, cat labors and none was like that believe me she was screaming in pain like yelling and I was uh, trying to help her and she bite my hand and I saw that she she didn't have anything to grasp to pull push and so she just grasped my hand and I was like okay now I'm going to die from some disease stray cat disease but she just bites and then she could push the baby and she had only one kitten and it was gigantic it was like almost this big and like three times the regular size of a cat uh, newborn because she only had one inside her and then I talked to some vets and they told me that's super rare and super dangerous because usually the baby gets so, there's so much room in the belly that the baby gets so big that the cat cannot expel it and most cats just die in the process and he was born with the legs hurt so the first thing that came out was a feet, a foot, a kitten foot and I was like oh my god I didn't even know where there was a vet close by I, did, I, it, I was here in Poland for not a long time I didn't know anything and so the cat food came out and then she bite, came in again and then she bite me, uh, bit me and she could push the cat out and it was Pele that is just so in my lap. So we decided to adopt, uh, later we decided to adopt him because he's so pretty and we could not say no. And so she just had the kitten but she had vermin, she had fleas, she had uh, bugs in her ear so she was producing a lot of uh, uh, serum, uh, how do you say that, serum? And so she was clearly never 
uh, went to uh, to a vet and she could not uh, be treated at that point because she was feeding uh, breastfeeding the kitchen so we talked to a vet and he told us just wait a couple of weeks so the kitchen is big enough for uh, us to give him vermin medicine and so that was the story after that <coughs> sorry when they were uh, uh, it, when it was possible to treat the cat, we took them to vaccinate, to uh, uh, take out all the bugs and parasites and vermin, and they were great. And it was funny because when she she was around our backyard, and my husband was worried that uh, she's a race cat and she was being bred. I said, mm, I see her all the time walking around with a very big, strong tomcat. And they are together like a couple. They are super sweet together. And I'm positive that this is uh, the father of her babies, a black tomcat. And he was saying, no, I don't think so. Probably it's also a gray cat and she's being bred. And I said, well, let's see the babies. If the babies are black, we know that the black cat is the father. And sure enough, that was only one baby, black as the night. And uh, we were sure that uh, he is the father. And uh, after that, we are living with both cats, uh, the son and the mother. Fellas, uh, football players from Brazil. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Look, this. I don't know if you hear the noise, but Pele is on the table here on the thing. He's just sat there. <laughs> This is Pele, the sweetest cat ever. Hey. Okay. So I will put Pele here in the back. So my auntie just watched uh, the Pele movie on Netflix, Polish Netflix, and Pele was a football player in Brazil and she loved the movie, she was obsessed with Pele, and she decided the cat must be named Pele, <laughs> and I didn't want because I don't like him as a person, he was not very kind to his ex-wives and daughter, so a whole story, but I didn't want, and she really wants, so I, I named it Pele Czech, because it's like Pele with a Polish twist. So that's Pele or Pelecek. And I'm telling you all of this because then the story gets really weird. A couple months after that, I stopped seeing my neighbor. I, she used to give me food every day, she used to give me peaches for, from her backyard, I used to give her plums, I made plum jelly, she made like potato salad, we were exchanging food and her husband were always sitting uh, in a chair in the backyard and they just disappeared, but it was a winter time, so I was not so worried. But then I started to get worried because it was a long time I didn't see them and I start to ask my auntie who lives nearby and know the neighborhood like where is the neighbor what what did happen to her I don't I never saw her anymore and her the other cats that she used to take care of they are just going to crazy places that they never went before like super far from the house they look like they are looking for food I never saw the window that she used to keep open to the cats to enter her house during the cold season it's not open anymore what's happening and nobody have uh, knew anything and this is our big old houses with uh, mostly just elderly people living on like few people is a very uh, not not many people around and so after like uh, a month I discovered that the neighbor died she just had a heart attack inside her house like a few meters from myself and she died and her husband who were already sick uh, he had cancer he just died uh, one or two weeks later probably from all the impact from losing his wife so the cat she just moved to her house 
and it's it's crazy it's like she knew that something was going on and she needed a new house and it was crazy i was super uh i couldn't believe the news because i consider myself a friend uh, for the neighbor and it was so shocked. I was so shook. I, I cannot imagine her family because it was like everything was nice and then just suddenly and it was really really sad and I started to worry about the other cats because there were two cats that were around and I was asking her if I could castrate the cats and she and the neighbor was like oh they are fine they have when they have litters I just leave the litter in the backyard and nature takes handle of that and the kittens just go to the nature and I was like yeah that that will not keep that way if I not on my watch we are going to castrate them okay and she was like I don't really want and so but she was a very kind person she was not doing that because she was evil or anything it's just another uh, mindset she remembered that she came from first war and com uh, sorry but she lived through second war and communism and so she she has some different priorities of course and but I think we could manage that if we had more time and then after her death, the two other female cats uh, turn out to be pregnant also and she, they have litter and one, one had a litter on the grass, on the backyard and I uh, was planning to jump the fence because nobody was here on the house anymore and the grass was growing big and I couldn't reach her family and so before I could do anything a dog or something came on the night and just killed all the kittens which was terrible and I already have someone to adopt I already talked to my friend who also takes care of kittens I have everything figured but I will never forgive me to didn't uh, because I thought that her daughter was coming on the next day and so I would just take the kittens on the next day and exactly on that night that happened so now I really 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 need uh, only the kittens was were dead they were on the grass so now I really need to capture the two female cats and I want to capture Pele's father because he's still around he comes here almost every day to eat and we name him Juca is a Brazilian name that's out of fashion so now it's like a, ma uh, a male name that mostly older men have like a dad's name let's say <laughs> so uh, I just thought it was funny and so Juca is coming around and he's very uh, smart and very big and so I need to capture him and take him to the vet I can tell he has some skin disease I can tell he has bugs eating his blood and his ear is full of bugs he's a mess but he's very kind and he loves Shada and Pele Juca is not afraid of me he can eat from my hand but it, once I try to pet him and he just uh, slapped me and it uh, made a really tiny cut and it got really inflamed because he's a stray cat he's dirty he had dirty paws so he cannot uh, stand to be touched he can touch you but if you try to touch him he just freak out so I bought a trap online and I tried to set it up uh, and he could uh, uh, take the food out of the trap because it's a very small trap I was stupid uh, it had the the measurement on the head and I thought that it was enough for a cat but I didn't realize that almost half of the trap is the thing that uh, close so it, it was like this big to <laughs> to capture a tomcat that is like this big so of course and the trap was not very strong so it was trying to push him inside and he could just walk away and <laughs> it will close I will insert here a video I recorded I'm working on that so
Today I told you everything because I just went on the Facebook expats group from Wrocław, my town, and I asked, please, 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 does someone have a travel uh, house for dog that's big enough for a, a big cat to have to enter the whole house to pick up some food in the back? Because I had a cat house, but he can just stretch himself and just reach the food and run away. So I need a really big dog house so he needs to enter the house really with the four legs so he can just reach the food because I don't have the courage to just push him inside because one really uh, little scratch really inflamed and he's really uh, he's not afraid he's kind to me but I saw him fighting with another tomcat he can be very very aggressive so I don't want to take my chances with a sick cat and then someone in the group uh, told me like hey I have a dog house I can borrow you for like a week no problem just come and pick it up so now I'm getting ready to go and pick, a, uh, pick up this house and bring it back and try one more time to capture Juca and so this is the plan and I need to, to, to tell you about the whole story before that because if, if we are going to be friends now you need to know that I'm a, a cat lady, a crazy cat lady sometimes and uh, now I have this goal to capture these three cats and neutralize and vaccinate and treat them so cat number one is up to <laughs> And so stay tuned and I will let you know how it went.